Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Jack Sargent of Heartland Football. How's it going, bud? I'm good. All right. Before we get to the annual 10 burning questions, uh, you got a big game against Canton tomorrow night. How's it going to go? You know, I think we're going to come up with the win. I mean, if everyone does their job, then we should end up fine. This everyone has to do their job. All right. Let's get to the 10 burning questions that we've, you've known this before. It's the 10, it's the same 10 I've asked everybody that's appeared on this um, uh, when I did this this season. So here we go. What, uh, how do you mentally prepare for a game there, bud? Well, I mean, I think nerves are a good thing. So I'll let myself be nervous, but also I think being too nervous is just, you know, it, it makes you play scared, makes you play bad. So I think you just gotta, you know, just smile through it, have fun. You know, just talk with your like boys beforehand and just, you know, don't get too nervous, but a little bit nervous is good. I just listen to music and just, you know, let the feeling just bring me through the week. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, how well do you manage your time? Oh, um, I'd say like a three. I mean, I'm, even my coaches know I show up right on time to late most times. I mean, I'll have an hour between. Between things, I'll still end up being late. I, I don't know. How, I don't know how I do, how I do it. It's just, I don't know. Um, if you had to pick one social media app to use and drop the rest, what would you use? Mm, you know, I would say Instagram because uh, I just feel like people post some more important stuff on there. And I'd rather know like the big things in people's lives and like small things like Snapchat, Snapchat stories and all that stuff. I mean, I can still text people too on it too. So, yeah. Um, what you know, you, I know you said you listen to music before the game. What's on your game day playlist? Oh, uh, I mean, Taylor Swift. I mean, I, I know it's a weird one, but <laughs> I, I, I sing along, you know, I, I get it going. Everyone knows the lyrics of the Taylor Swift song. So, I mean, it's, it's a perfect pregame is there, thing. Is there like the bit, is there like, is there like now? There are a lot of people that have the big speakers in the back, or does everyone just have their own headphones on? No, I mean, we have, so in the locker room, we get the big speaker going, and then usually there's like a little section, which is people with like, you know, AirPods and stuff like that, headphones, just, you know, mentally preparing by themselves. But I'm one of the guys who just plays, you know, Taylor Swift song, hop around with the boys, get hype, all that stuff, you know, sing along, have fun. Um, okay. On a scale of one to 10, how well are you at replying to text messages? Well, I'm a lot better than Joey Matter. <laughs> I'd give myself an eight. I answer pretty, pretty fast. I mean, unless I'm at practice or, you know, doing something at school, it's, it's quick. Only be a matter of time before someone takes a shot at, at, at Joey's responses. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what's... Okay, so for context, for remember when we had we had Joey on and he did this a while back, and mm -hmm. uh, um, apparently it's a, apparently a legend that he does not get back with people very well. <laughs> um, just just for context, the audience for the audience purposes. Um, what's a TV or streaming show that you're really into right now? Well, actually, just just this week I started watching uh, BoJack Horseman. Oh, nice! It's a weird show, but I like it. Is that on Netflix? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I honestly think shape shifting. Just, I mean, I want to go somewhere and I'll turn to a bird fly. Yeah. You know, I want to be fast or something like that to shape shift some like massive legs, you know, start running around. I and mean, it's perfect for football too. You know, you're the first person that said shape shifting. Really? Yes. I mean, I feel like shape shifting, you can do anything. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what's the earliest football memory that you have? For me, um, I think it was, it was sixth grade. I have the video actually in my camera. I was watching with my dad, some like younger highlights. It's sixth grade. We were against, I think, self flying white or silver. Yeah. And it was a like, big game. It was for like the division and they threw a screen pass and I got a, it was my first pick six. I'm pretty sure first touchdown of my whole career. Yeah. And it's just, it's burned in my head. I just remember every part of it. Nice. Um, what's your pregame meal before a game? 
chocolate smoothie. I got a buffalo chicken wrap and I got a Bahama Mama with extra white coconut. Does someone go to tropical smoothie before a game? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, because I, I, you're surprised that you're, you didn't think I knew that, did you? Because I know, because I, I do DoorDash, so I would know. Uh, so um, if you could give advice to your younger self, something you know now but didn't know then, what would it be? Um, I would probably say stay consistent because – I'm the kind of person that I re, like I used to just work on motivation, but I think consistency is a lot more important than motive, like is a lot more important than motivation. So I would just say be consistent with everything you do and you know, stretch also because I mean, I've had two injuries in my career, knee injuries, and both of them are just from not stretching, not being prepared for the game. All right. Well, Jack Sargent, thank you so much for um, for doing this. That's all I got for you, man. Uh, good luck. Okay. Thanks, Canton. Thank you. Thanks for having me.